Hello everybody, this is the Lozzy 88 and I'm back with another unboxing video. I have been shopping far too much. It's a huge big bag. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what I got and we're going to look at it together. So let's So the first thing I notice is my little freebie. Oh, cute. So I've got a just for you sticker. I've got my, <laughs> I've got my thank you from Team Bay and the gems. These are from Nancy at Kawaii Arcade Masters. Thank you, Nancy. I love them. I often see her winning these types of gems uh, in her YouTube videos with the gem push games. So I will put these on one of my shelves and uh, treasure them. So. I love stuff like this. Very cute, very sparkly. And a couple of Romani candies. Yay. Awesome. Let's put these to the side. Okay, so the first bag is this one. I'll try and give pricing where I can, but I'm not 100% sure I can remember. So the first thing I got is a gachapon. This is a gumball machine, a Hello Kitty gumball machine. I'll confirm it when I see the ticket inside, but I want to say it was My Melody, Hello Kitty, and Cinema Roll that were the options, but I'm not sure. So let's have a look. I just thought they looked so cute. I didn't really care which one I got. Yep, Hello Kitty, My Melody, and Cinema Roll. And it comes with several little candies. It shows 12, but I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've only got nine for some reason. It says it comes with 12, but it's okay. <laughs> it's not like I need more little plastic balls. So I think think what I am supposed to do I think this was five dollars look it's so cute it even makes like the little gotcha pun noise oh so cute so I think I'm supposed to empty the balls into here And then close this up. And then I think I'm supposed to put that on like that. Ah, look how cute it is. And then what happens is you turn the gotcha on. And I got a pink one. <laughs> so cute. Okay, I'll put that one in there. I got it as an ornament rather than a... I'm going to turn it upside down so none of the balls can come out. Yeah. 
so cute. Oh, I kind of wish I'd got all of them now, but they're very, very cute. So, so sweet. Oh, I love it. See, Hello Kitty's not really my favorite, but I actually, I actually really like that. That's super cute. So that's the first thing I got. And the second thing I got, which I believe was also $5, this is something I saw a while ago and I didn't really understand what it was. So this was 300 yen plus tax. I paid $5, I'm quite happy with that. And basically, so this is what you have to be aware of. If you buy from Kerry, some people have said it before, if you buy from Kerry, she does inflate the prices. It's not because she's trying to rip you off, not at all. She has to pay her staff. She has to pay for their time. She has to pay for um, shipping boxes, for bubble wrap, for anything and everything you can think of that you would need to pack a parcel. She has to pay for that. She has to pay for the office that they work from. So if you say, oh, that's too expensive, that's fine. Leave it. You don't have to buy it. However, if it's within your budget, so for example, um, this isn't how it works, but let's just say I really wanted one of these. And I know they're $300 plus tax. $300, 300 yen plus tax, which is roughly three and a bit dollars. So I would say, okay, I'm willing to pay up to $5 for it. But if I went on eBay, because I'm in the UK, this would probably cost me nearly $10 to buy. In which case, now, uh, Nancy, Kerry is actually cheaper for me to buy from. So you have to just, it swings around about some things you have to say, yes, I'm willing to pay that. And others you have to say, no, I don't need that. I don't need to buy it. And you just have to kind of pick and choose what you want to buy. Because depending on how much you want something, depends on how much you're willing to pay for it. So this washi tape is, oh my God, it is, yeah. Oh wait, that's not the beginning, that's the beginning, okay. So apparently, I don't really want to test it out because I don't want to waste any, but it's perforated. So, well, that's a half one, I think. Is that a half one? So I think this is perforated. So I should be able to, ah, okay, it works. <laughs> So yeah, so this one is my little odd square and I'll rip that off and I'll waste that one. But yeah, it ripped straight off and now I'm left with the beginning of the, the next one. Perfectly perforated. I don't need scissors with it, they're all the same size so it'll be really good for that. And there's that. And that's my dog Sarin. So there we go. She wants me to be quiet because she wants to sleep. But it's not happening because I'm filming today. <laughs> All right, so there's that for $5. Very happy with that. Also, look how much comes on the reel. Look at that amount of washi. That is crazy. That is, let me just double check that. Four designs. Those are the designs. And it's 15 millimeters by 12 meters. There's 12 meters on this. That's actually really good. That is really, really good. I'm impressed. Okay, I'm impressed. So, the next thing. I believe I paid $9 for this. And it was from Loft. And it's a lucky bag of washi tapes. And this was 540 yen, including tax. And it comes with 12 washi tapes. Oh my gosh. I don't know what the tapes are.
so it comes with 12 washi tapes oh some of these are really nice some of these i'm not sure i'm going to use but some of them are really cute so we'll go through them so this looks like a bento box themed one it has forks and spoons it has um shrimp and tamago it has a little octopus in the back there somewhere so really really cute very happy with that this one i'm probably gonna get quite a lot of use out of this is a birthday balloon washi tape it just goes all the way around lots of different colors this one again i can see myself using it's just a very happy design it's just stripes of different colors hope you can see these okay this one has cakes and chocolates and things on i could definitely use this for writing when i have a nice treat and there's a cute bear too very cute this one would be great for easter this is a bunny with carrots Cute. This is a hedgehog with, for some reason, there's turnips, carrots, fried eggs, and hedgehogs. Not quite sure what's going on with that, but it's cute. This one will definitely get lots of use. This is just a black and white dotty one. This is, again, this is like a sushi one, like a bento sushi. It's got the fake grass, it's got the um, like the rolls and the sashimi and all that kind of good stuff. And then we've got this one. This is probably my one of my favorite ones. This is like stained glass window. I just really like the colors, it's so vibrant. And this one was also a cute one. It reminds me of little twin stars. It's like the pastel color. You've got stars and moons. And then there's some fishy ones. This would be good for like wrapping presents for guys. Cause you know, a lot of older guys in my family like to go fishing. So I could wrap their presents using that. And this is like a breakfast theme one. There's milk, croissants, and fried eggs <laughs> a little bit of everything there very weird and wonderful and that was nine dollars for all of that so I thought that was a really good deal because I normally pay about a pound per washi tape for the cheap ones and there's quite a hefty amount on there like you look at that that's got to be what six meters eight meters so I am very, very happy with this and not all of them are what I would choose to have for me, but I don't think there's anything that I particularly dislike. Um, probably the one I would get the least amount of use from is probably the, the breakfast one, but it's still cute. I'd still use it. Awesome. So that is that. That is the last of that. Okay. Next bag, I bought quite a lot of stuff. So I asked Kerry uh, a few months ago when I bought some stuff a while ago, I was like, can you buy me some of these chocolates? She used to give us these little tiny um, Meiji chocolates and that was our freebie. We get like one or two of those. And they were really good, like really nice chocolate. And she was going to get me some, but I'm not sure what happened. They forgot to go back to the shop and I was like, don't worry about it, it's fine. I'm bound to buy from you again in the future. So this time I got my chocolates, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. So this is a slightly bigger box. This is 26 blocks in here and they're not huge. Let me just open this up. So 
so I think you slide it from this side yeah so there's the chocolates very nice very delicious looking I love the fact that they're individually wrapped very nice um, because I would eat an entire box once I'd eat, opened them if they were just open whereas with this I can just take one or two maybe with you know my lunch and have a little treat for myself so oh my god it smells so good guys oh, it smells rich and creamy I can I'm dribbling okay I'm dribbling delicious the next thing that i have is actually the item that started the whole haul i woke up one morning and it was about 5 a.m and she just posted this and she only had two on hand someone had already picked the other one so i very quickly grabbed this one it's a marvel calculator now i've wanted a cute calculator for a while I was kind of hoping to get one of the really expensive like my melody or little twin star ones and maybe I still will in the future but I really like the pastel blue and how clear the buttons were so I decided to get this I think this was like $11 or something 11 or $12 and I thought that was actually pretty reasonable you know a decent calculator in the UK is gonna set me back about eight pounds so it's probably about the same I'm so happy with it. It's just got Captain America's shield there. It says Marvel in a bit of a weird font, but it is li it is licensed. It is it is official Marvel. Now this was five hundred and eighty dollars. Why do I keep doing that? Five hundred and eighty yen, so around plus tax, so probably around about six dollars. So again, like I say, if you're not willing to pay the fee that Carrie needs to put on to make her business viable, there's no point in shopping with her. I already know how much I'm willing to pay for something. I am perfectly happy with what I paid for this because I know I wouldn't be able to buy it for that. So yay, I got my calculator. There's more things, guys. There's so many more things. Okay, so the next thing I got... This is... Tokyo Milk Cheese Factory. I got a little bit dinged in the post, but that's okay. So this is lemon and cream cheese flavor. And basically I asked if I could add this to my order back along when I only had, I think, the calculator and the two washi tapes or something like that. I had a few little bits. And she was like, I'm sorry, I've already been back. I didn't pick it up for you. But by the time I'd finished ordering everything, she was able to pick it up for me. So... Let us open this. I think we'll open it from the bottom. I'm curious as to what it is. I think they're biscuits with like a chocolate type cheese filling inside. So this is what they are. They're actually really small. I don't know what I was expecting. I always, like, pictures on the internet are very hard to gauge. So the cookies are about that big. So to put it into perspective, it's about one little finger by about two thirds of a little finger. They feel really nice and crunchy. I'm not gonna eat any right now because my throat's a little bit sore. I don't really want to just eat it for the sake of eating it. I've just had breakfast, so I'm not going to eat it right now. But I got these because, again, I like to have things that I can put in my lunch that are sealed. Because if I'm at work and I'm busy and I don't get time to eat it, I don't want to throw away something I paid really good money for. I think this was like $13 or something. And I wanted to try them the last time she posted them, but I didn't have an active order and I didn't want to just buy cookies so this time i think last time as well she just had the regular flavor this time she posted i think there was um three flavors i can't remember what it was but lemon and cream cheese sounded really good so i was like okay 
lemon and cream cheese it is. I've also got another food item. And I actually bought this to share with my dad. So these are Yokohama Caramel Almond Florentines. So they're basically like a pastry biscuit base with caramelled almonds on the top and they looked really good. I'm going to try and open the packet without completely destroying it because I want to see if these are individually wrapped. I think they are. Oh. And I broke it. Japanese stuff like a lot of the mochi is in plain white boxes like this one but it's got really pretty wrapping on it ah so they are individual now they are in different colored packets so are they different treats I don't know let's put these back how they're supposed to be though they're small yeah, these are actually probably perfectly manageable for me as like a little a little dessert, something sweet. Ah, so this is what it looks like. I don't know why they're in different colored packets. I can't read Japanese. It seems to be exactly the same on the front and on each one. So I'm going to assume just says caramel almond quarantine. I'm going to assume it's just for prettiness so that it just looks a little bit less samey. So I'm really excited to try these. Again, I'm not going to eat it now, um, but I'm really excited. I think my dad's going to like these. Let's put that over there. And this is the last bag. So the first thing I got is, I think those almond things were like $10, is this memo pad. Again, I'm not opening it because I'm not ready to use it right now, so I'm going to keep it sealed. If I don't use it in the future, then I can at least pass it on to someone as a gift. So this is Chip and Dale Oofoofy style. Um, they seem to be um, getting rid of a lot of their Oofoofy stuff, but it folds down. Can you see it like folds down? behind the flowers so they're perforated slightly and it becomes like a standing up memo very very cute so I like that that's something I'm going to use on my desk when I have something I really need to do and I also bought the stitch frozen who hides behind the chomped watermelon so y'all it's very cute very cute I love his little blushy cheek Again, Ufufi style, and I think these were five dollars each. And then we got a stitch and scrump and the duckies sticker. I don't know why I bought this. I well, I do. I bought it to go on my. Um, how do you open this? Where's the sticker part? Oh, okay, I see it. I see it. So I bought this to go on my new journal. I didn't know it was holographic. It's got holographic sparkles, I think. Uh, or has it? Oh, hang on. Okay. Mm. I think it's supposed to be a window sticker. So I think it's going to end up backwards <laughs> to me. Oh, that's a shame. I'll still use it. I'll still use it. It'll be fine. So the front side seems to be like no sparkles and then the other side is really sparkly. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to put it on the bottom of my new Liebstrom. Lieb I 
can't pronounce, I can't pronounce the German word, I can't. Liebstrom journal, and basically it's gonna be the decorative sticker. So like $2.50, I think, very, very cute. I also bought some Jinbei San stickers. I bought two packets because it was two for five dollars, I think it was, or two for six dollars, something like that, which worked out cheaper. And I liked both of the sticker sheets. So this is the first one, and this is the second one. And I like both of them. I do like the cuteness of Jinbei San. <laughs> there were some really cute stickers that I know I'll use in my journal, so I was like, yeah, I'm getting those. I also got this adorable Pikachu memo. Now, I've, I'm sure I've seen it before, but I think it was on sale now. Um, it's all sealed up. She sealed it up really nicely. I'm not going to open it because it's just a journal. It's just, it's got the same sheet here um, on there. And then on the inside, it's just got, I think it's like down in the corner somewhere. Like the same image is just down in the corner with lines. So not going to worry about opening that because I'm not ready to use that yet. And I believe these were two for five dollars. And these are writing boards. So we got two Ufufi ones, this one and this one. I just really like them. They were a cheap price. They were two dollars fifty each. They're supposed to be four dollars each. And Basically, I got it because when I do some crafting sometimes, I don't like to leave imprints. So I'm not probably going to use it for its specific purpose, which is to go behind papers when you're writing in a, in a book. But I will probably craft on top of these because it will mean that I won't have to worry so much about like how hard I push with coloring pencils. It won't go on to anything else I'm working on. So probably going to use it for that so similar but not quite the same and then probably my favorite things are two pokemon notebooks so this is the new design i think for summer and it's just a basic notepad it does not have any pikachu inside it's thin writing uh, thin lines for writing it just says page number at the top and date and this is the one design these were four dollars each i'm really really happy with them i don't know how much they were supposed to be 220 plus tax so around about two dollars fifty so like when you see something like this like i'm really happy four dollars that's about three pounds i'm really happy to have paid this if i was walking around my local supermarket and i saw this for four for three pounds i would totally pick this up so the fact that I'm giving her $1.50 to be able to make my kawaii cute stationary dreams come true, oh hell yeah, hells yeah, I'm gonna do that. So there we are, this is the other design, I love the little ice cream Pikachus, look at that, they're so cute, so cute. So this is pretty much my kawaii haul, I love everything, everything, everything everything that I got and I've still got one haul left but um I'll do that in a different video because this video is getting long I can just tell and yeah so if you want to buy anything from Kerry link will be in the description please only buy if you have the money and look at some of the things you could get you can get Pokemon stuff you can get Jinbeza stuff Disney, Stitch, Ufufi, food, Marvel stuff, you can get chocolates, you can get Ufufloofs, more Ufufloof stuffs, oh my goodness, you can get so much stuff, washi tapes, look at all this, look at all this that you can get, so stinking cute, this is what you can get. I don't remember how much I paid for the whole thing. It was probably just over a hundred dollars. I think it was about one thirty with shipping. So, so excited! Yes, yes! Look at all the cute stuffs, and I can finally use it. This is coming out. This is gonna get eaten. This is gonna get eaten, and this is gonna get stuck to my journal. And that's just today. 
right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a really lovely day. I hope you chill out. I hope you spend time with your families. And I hope you decide that you like this and you just leave me a thumbs up and say, yeah, that was really cool. Thank you for sharing. So, all right. Thanks, guys. Bye.